Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. We have, of course, the finals match finally set. We have the Minnesota Lynx versus the, I almost, almost forgot, New York Liberty. As you guys know, the Aces, they got eliminated. Right then the second round, the back-to-back -back champion got eliminated in the second round. And Kaka Suns, they pushed it, pushed it to game five, but the Lynx just dominated. They know their defense is very good. And this game right here, they showed you why they're the best defensive team. They showed you why the Fisher Collier, the defensive player of the year. They went out there and clamped up, and they made it very tough to get baskets. The Suns can get baskets anywhere, like down the court. So now we're going to see these two teams, a high-power offense versus a high power, a, a strong on like defending team like that as well. So it's going to be a good battle. I don't know who's going to win this, though. I know uh, Brianna Stewart and Sabrina uh, Noski. I would say her name kind of wrong. Um... It's a good tandem. Last year, they fell short to the Aces in the finals. This year, they trying to look for revenge. They beat the Aces. Now, they go into the finals to try to rewrite history a little bit. But the Lynx, they, they, they play so good. And they're so good defensively. And they play tougher, I think. They have like, that little chip on their shoulder. They play tougher, a harder style, a grittier style of um, basketball. So, I think they might take it home. I say go the distance, but I think the Lynx might take it home in the end and add another title. You know, they already got like four of them, I think, from Maya Morris. So add another title like that. And um, bring more championship to the city, and because the Timberwolves not bringing you nothing, so might as well bring the Lynx to bring you something. And um, I think right there going to be a very good, very good, very good little battle like that in the conference, man, the conference in the, the NBA Finals. So it should be very interesting to see uh, who comes out on top. But I think the Lynx might have the edge because of the way they play defensively, they just have that that grit and that toughness that you can't teach. Like that they go out there and play. They, they're not afraid to get scrappy and play a, a game that might get a little sluggish, a little bit. Or on slugfest type of game, they, they can do all different styles. So I've seen them um, face against some of the best, uh, out, you know, outscore some of the best scoring teams, and also defend some of the best scoring teams that hold them down like that. I think the Suns, of course, is on um, past game today. So yeah, so it's gonna be a, a nice little matchup to see what happens. We're also seeing, of course, the NBA preseason has started. Um, my boy Bam Adebayo, hey, the three-point shooting is getting better and better every single time. I remember all seeing them at practice, you know, seeing them um, play and stuff getting better and better. Like last year, he was on shooting the three a little more. The first few years of his career, he was not shooting three at all. You know, he added the mid-range game, added more and more to his game, and now he's out there firing away like that, you know. Um, so it's, it's very cool to see Bam expand. We also see Lonzo Ball has returned. You know, for the first time, he'll be playing uh, the first time he played since 2022. I like think Lonzo Ball has suffered that severe ankle injury. I don't know how severe the ankle injury, I don't know what type of ankle injury was like that, but it was very severe if he missed two years. So I don't know like what happened. I don't know if he had like a fracture or he had a broken ankle. He had something that was like very uh, bad. It took him out for like two seasons, but he's back now. So we're gonna, we should see the Bulls get better um, as well. I think in the guy who's a punt guard who can play around the perimeter, who can guard around the perimeter as well and do different things. But it's cool to see these preseason matchups. We've seen Russell Westbrook, of course, get some action. It was last week, his first game with the Nuggets out there played pretty solid as well. Uh, LeBron James and Bronny on the court at the same time. LeBron James looked like he had lost a step. 19 points in, what, 15 minutes? I think he went out there and just dominated a little bit in a sense. I'm uh, showing you that his quickness is still there. His strength is still there. His power is still there. And he's, that's why he's one of the best basketball players, you know, generational guy. So that's the um, thing that we're talking about, too, like the preseason stuff that's going on. Um... That kind of, that's kind of pretty much it, really. Like, most of the basketball stuff that's happening. You know, preseason, we're seeing things kind of heat up. The NBA coming to a close a little bit. we also seeing Juju Watkins get a big-time Nike deal. Big-time deal. Um, so they said she might become one of the highest paid, if not the highest paid, um, women athletes. Like, that, um, basketball players in the shoe. Like, brand, like that deal. Because she got signed a big deal. She's only 19 years old. Very good player. Average 27 points per game last season. Played very good. Paige Bucker is also a good player as well. I think that will come down to those two teams right there going against each other. Of course, South Carolina has a very good squad. Of course, Coach Don Staley does a great job and phenomenal job with their team and their core. But I think it will come down to those teams right there because they're going to be a battle. Like, yeah, go out there and get a bucket. Those two individuals can get some buckets. Like, the average 27 points your own um, sophomore season is amazing. So, Juju will probably enter the WNBA probably two, three years from now, probably. I know Paige Buckers is going to enter probably um, after this season is over. So we're going to see some big-time stars coming, and the game is just getting better and better uh, every year. But this is all I have for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. I'll keep you guys updated on the NBA stuff, NBA stuff, maybe some college stuff here and there as well. But just keep on the lookout for that and just keep watching and, you know, stay in tune. I'm going to have some game picks video coming tomorrow for the NFL game picks. We got memberships here on the channel as well. You know, we got a few people signed up already. So go ahead and sign up and support the channel if you like. Um, you don't have to, of course, but if you want to, you can sign up and support. 
And yeah, we have some more videos coming out later this week. College football, of course, discussing my Steelers. Hopefully, we can get back on track and all type of things. Maybe Devontae Adams get traded. You never know. But maybe we had a video coming out too as well discussing that. We've seen Robert Salah um, get fired. So we have a lot of sports content coming. So just stay tuned for that. But I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.